Welcome to my channel. So for this tutorial, I'm going to be showing you how to make a shirt dress. I added two inches to the front piece of the shirt dress for button allowance and half an inch on top for the shoulder allowance. So we're going to be applying the neck measurement right now. That is four by four, four inch width and four inch depth. You can also use three inch depth if you want it that way, but I would stick to four inch depth. I'm going to be joining this point with a straight line and then I'm going to go ahead and measure the back neckline. I'm going to be using one inch for that. Then I'm going to join this point with a curve. The next thing I'll do now is to measure the shoulder. The shoulder is 17. 17 divided by 2 is 8.5. So I'm going to mark 8.5. I'm going to measure out the armhole. The armhole is 9, but we're going to be adding half an inch because we're going to be removing that half inch for the shoulder slant. After doing that, we're going to join, join the point I marked with a straight line. And then we're going to be extending this line. We're going to head to the shoulder part of the top and we're going to be taking off half an inch from that point. As you can see, and I'm joining the points now. The next thing you have to do is to divide your armhole by 2. 9 divided by 2 is 4.5 and at that point go in by half an inch. You are going to apply your bust measurement now. Your bust measurement you are going to apply is your bust measurement plus 4 before you divide by 4. And for mine, it is 11. So I'm going to be joining the points now. I'm also going to be drafting out the back armhole. You see, as you can see from that point I marked, I'm coming down by 1 inch. And I'm going to join that point to the bust measurement. This is for the back armhole. The next thing we're going to do now is to measure from the shoulder to the waist. And for this for this shirt dress, I'm going to be using 17 and a half. So I'm going to mark 17 and a half and join the points with a straight line. I'm going to apply the waist measurement. The waist measurement you have to use is your waist measurement plus 4 inches for ease before you divide by 4. And for mine is 10, I've applied the 10 inches. Now I'm going to be measuring the waist to the hips and I'm going to be using 11. I'm going to mark 11 and then use a straight line to join the points that I've marked. So the hip measurement is 40. So I'm going to add 4 to 40 and I'm going to then divide that 44 by 4. That is 11 and I've marked 11 inches. I'm going to be joining the points that I've marked from the bust to the waist and then from the waist to the hip. So I'm going to be extending that line on the hip straight down to the hem of the shirt dress. So I got 11 on the hip. I'm going to be applying 11 on the down part of the shirt dress. And then after marking that point, I'm going to use a straight line and join those points together. I'm going to go ahead and curve out the lines on the hip line because our hips are not pointed our hips are curvy after doing this i'm going to go ahead and add half an inch for the neckline half an inch for the shoulder half an inch for the armhole and then 1.25 inches for the side seams 
As you can see, I'm adding half an inch for the neckline now. So we're going to also add half an inch allowance on the armhole that we've drawn. We're going to add half an inch for the front armhole and half an inch for the back armhole as well. Moving on to the side seams, we're going to add 1.25 inches for the sewing allowance we're going to add this on the bust on the waist on the hips down to the hemline of the dress and we're going to cut this out now now the first thing on the armhole we are going to cut the back armhole first Cut the back armhole first. And then you cut the shoulder. You cut the shoulder. And then you move on to the back neckline and cut that out too. Remember, it's only the back neckline that you cut out. Now we have to transfer the front measurement to the to the front part of the fabric. So you can see I'm extending the lines on the front part of the fabric and I'm marking the allowances as well. I'm going to join these points together using a curved using the curved side of the pattern master. I've drawn that side so I'm going to move to the armhole now and I'm going to mark the 4.5 I measured I, I marked earlier on I'm going to transfer that to the front part of the fabric I'm going to go in by half an inch and create a curve after which i will cut this out just watch what i'm doing i'll cut this out as well i have we ha i have to separate this because i'm doing a joint cutting that is i'm cutting the back and the front together but the armhole and the neckline has to be cut separately as you can see i'm cutting i'm going to cut out the neckline now it's important you separate the armhole and the neckline because the neckline has to be different. The neckline for the back has to be different for the neckline for the front piece of the shirt dress because we're going to be fixing a collar. As you can see, I'm notching the two inches I added for the button. So I went ahead and cut out the sleeves for my shirt dress. I made a detailed tutorial on how to cut out sleeves. Please go and watch that. And I'm also going to be using this piece of fabric. Moving on to the down part of the dress, I'm going to be creating a curved side for the dress as you can see the thumbnail so i'm going to be measuring two inches on the side seam and then on right from the center front i'm going to be measuring four inches so i'm going to join this point together and i'm going to cut
this tutorial is just for the cutting of this shirt dress watch out for my next tutorial where i'm going to be showing you how to sew this beautiful shirt dress thanks for watching this video like share and subscribe bye see you in my next video